He was one of the central founders of quantum mechanics, and he gave us his rule, his approximation, and he fostered a new generation of talented minds. Here are ten facts about Max Born. 1. Birth and Early Life Max Born was born on December 11, 1882, in Breslau, German Empire, now Rockwar, Poland. His father was Gustav Jacob Born, an anatomist and embryologist and professor at the University of Breslau. His mother, Margareta Kaufmann, was from a Silesian family of industrialists. Tragically, Born's mother passed away when he was just four years old. Despite this early loss, he found solace in his close relationship with his sister, Kerta, who was two years older, and the two shared a deep bond throughout their youth. Born's childhood was marked by fragility as he was a delicate child prone to frequent illnesses, including periodic bouts of asthma and bronchitis. Despite these health challenges, Born's intellectual curiosity and passion for physics began to flourish, and in 1904, arrived at the University of Göttingen, working under both David Hilbert and Hermann Minkowski. 2. Military Career Born served in the German army during World War I, starting in 1915. He was stationed in Berlin, where his mathematical expertise led him to join the APK, or Artillery Testing Commission, to play a role in developing sound-ranging techniques for locating enemy artillery. Throughout the war, Bourne continued his scientific work simultaneously with his military duties up to the end of the war in 1918, and developed the Bourne Harbour Cycle the following year, which is a means of calculating lattice energy. 3. The Bourne Rule In 1926, Max Bourne formulated the Bourne Rule, a foundational principle in quantum mechanics. It describes how the probability distribution of a quantum system's possible outcomes is related to the square of the amplitude of its wave function. Put simply, the probability of finding a particle in a particular state is proportional to the squared magnitude of the probability amplitude associated with that state. This would, much later in Born's life, earn him a Nobel Prize in 1954 at the age of 72. 4. Crystal Lattices In the 1920s, Born collaborated with physicist Alfred Landé to develop the Born-Landé equation, which describes the vibration frequencies of atoms in a crystal lattice. Born's work contributed to the comprehension of how vibrational modes and lattice structures influence the thermal and mechanical properties of materials. His insights into crystal lattices became essential in the field of condensed matter physics, providing key principles for the study of solids and their behavior at the atomic level. 5. The Born Approximation Introduced by him in the early 1920s, the Born Approximation is particularly valuable when dealing with low-energy scattering of particles. It simplifies the complex quantum scattering problem by considering the interaction between a particle and a potential as a series of successive, non-interacting scatterings. The Born approximation enables the calculation of scattering amplitudes and cross-sections, providing a practical approach to understanding how particles interact with each other or with a potential field. 6. A personal friend. Born had a close friendship with Albert Einstein that spanned four decades, with the two also collaborating on various scientific endeavors. Einstein fondly said to Born in one of their many correspondences, Theoretical physics will flourish wherever you happen to be. There is no other Born to be found in Germany today. Despite their close friendship and Born steadfastly defending Einstein's theory of relativity when it came under criticism, by those who held to a static idea of space and time, Born and Einstein did have some philosophical disagreements, particularly regarding the probabilistic nature of quantum mechanics. In a quite well-known letter written to Born in 1926, Einstein expressed his difference with Born's interpretation on quantum mechanics, saying, Quantum mechanics is certainly imposing, but an inner voice tells me that this is not yet the real thing. The theory yields much, 
but it hardly brings us closer to the old one's secrets. I, in any case, am convinced that he does not play dice. 7. Born Oppenheimer Approximation Max Born played a crucial role in formulating the Born Oppenheimer Approximation, a landmark concept in quantum chemistry. This approximation, developed in 1927 with Robert J. Oppenheimer, simplifies the study of molecules by treating electronic and nuclear motions separately. Born's insight proposed that electronic structures adjust rapidly to changes in nuclear positions, allowing the complex Schrödinger equation for the entire molecular system to be effectively separated into two distinct problems, one for electrons and another for nuclei. This simplification significantly facilitates quantum mechanical calculations, proving indispensable for understanding molecular structures and dynamics in various scientific disciplines, from chemistry to astrophysics. 8. Mentor of Göttingen From 1921 to 1933, Max Born held the position of a professor at the University of Göttingen in Germany. During this time, Göttingen seemed to be a hyper-focal point for the development of quantum mechanics, attracting many of the world's brightest and promising minds of physics. Friedrich Hund, Pascal Jordan, Robert Oppenheimer, and Victor Weisskopf are a few of the students who received their PhD under Born. With some of his assistants during that same time being Wolfgang Pauli, Edward Teller, Enrico Fermi, and Werner Heisenberg. It was said of Born and his time at the University of Göttingen that he let his superstars stretch past him. To those less gifted, he patiently handed out respectable but doable assignments. 9. Escape from Nazi Germany With the rise of Hitler's Nazi party in Germany and Born, being of Jewish descent, he decisively left Germany and quickly accepted a temporary position at St. John's College at Cambridge, England in 1933. He became a naturalized British citizen six years later in 1939 and was appointed Tate Professor of Natural Philosophy at the University of Edinburgh until his retirement in 1953. 10. The Bourne Legacy Max Bourne passed away on January 5, 1970, at the age of 87. His legacy includes his contributions to quantum mechanics, solid-state physics, and his role as a mentor to a generation of physicists. An interesting fact which is also a part of his legacy is that his daughter Irene, while in England, married a certain Brinley Newton John, and the two had a daughter which they named Olivia, who, in her own right, came to be a world pop icon. We thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe for more interesting facts about our world.